video number 28 solving absolute value equations let's start off with the definition of absolute value which is the distance from zero that's why if you take a look at the equation the absolute value of x equals five there are two answers one is five the other is negative five why because if this is zero both of these positions are both five away from zero. That's why the answer is five or negative five. Let's take a look at another example. We have the absolute value of x minus four equals 25. If you add four to both sides, you get 29. You get two answers, 20 plus or minus 29. Now, here's where we need to take a look at something a little bit different. You are not going to subtract three on both sides. You see, some number plus three is either going to equal 10 or some number plus 3 is going to equal negative 10 because we are saying that there's a sum that's both 10, 10 away from 0. Well, there's two spots that are 10 away from 0, 10 or negative 10. Then you get your two answers, A equals 7 or A equals negative 13. Okay, so that's the idea whenever you get the uh, absolute value with a uh, binomial in there, okay? Now, a more complicated absolute value equation. What you're going to do first is subtract 8 on both sides. You must isolate the absolute value first, just like you would isolate the x squared term if you were solving a quadratic. Then you just do exactly what we've been doing before. Equals 20, equals negative 20. You get two answers. You're either going to solve the two answers, or then you're going to put the answers in a solution set. Okay. Here's one. Do not distribute, please. You're not going to distribute. You're going to divide both sides by negative 3. That gets rid of the negative 3 right here. You have a 10, plus or minus 10, and you just solve both of those. 2 or negative 18. Last one here, special case. What if you have the absolute value of x plus 8 equals negative 15? Can the absolute value of anything ever be negative? No, because the absolute value is distance, and distances are always what? Positive. Therefore, x has no solution. Don't get tricked by this one. Do not write down no solution quite yet. You're going to subtract 10 on both sides. You're going to get negative 30. Now, don't get tricked here either. You're going to divide both sides by negative 1. You're going to get positive 30. So, therefore, there is a solution. It's just like the other ones. And good times.